G'day everyone, Struthy here. How the bloody hell are you? Hope you're doing well. Look, I haven't checked out this artist since January this year. Um, Mystic Virgo got me onto Liliac and has been updating me via DMing. And uh, I had a reminder here from uh, Bert Painter. He's gone and checked out my reaction of... Uh, what track did I check out back then? It was uh, Chain of Thorns by Liliac. It was my first reaction. <laughs> he said, looking for another reaction of Liliac. It seemed like you liked them, but we haven't seen another reaction of them. This is an original, and they have improved much since this reaction, plus it's a live recording. Uh, that's a concert, and this track's called Mars, so you know what, we're going to check it out straight away. It's, I think it's just on the 8 minute mark or something like that. But yes, thank you Bert Painter for reminding me that uh, Liliac do exist on the planet, and if you don't know Liliac already, go check out my um, <laughs> other reaction. But they are a young group from the US, um, Liliac means vampire bat in Romanian. And, um, yeah, they're just all varying in ages, and they've all got their duties in the band, uh, playing and or singing, and, yeah, they're actually quite quite the, uh, talented little group, actually, and, uh, yeah, I was very impressed, and, yeah, look, we're going to check them out again now, so thank you, Mr. Verbo, once again, for getting me onto them, and, uh, thank you to Bird Painter for, uh, reminding me that they exist, so, <laughs> alrighty, let's do this, this is Mars, the track, uh, live, uh, what is it? it says it's live in coming in, is that GA, is that Georgia? I don't know, I don't know what the, anyway, Liliac, let's do this, three, two, one. Okay. He puts in his practice. <laughs> I mean, if anyone was ever younger and they wanted to have that idea of growing up and being a rock band. I mean, this is the epitome of it right here. He's got the long flowing hair, he's got the chops, he's... It literally is Sam's solo for the crowd. <laughs> So I assume we're getting into the Mars track anytime soon, but um, I'm not complaining. <laughs> hey, he's working the crowd, man. That's what you want when you go to a live gig. So they're all half a year older since last time I checked them out too. So um, I'm only going to assume that they've matured and all that sort of stuff and uh, gotten better at their instruments. And again, this performance is from 2019 too, so it's probably... Let's give them about 15, 16 months since this performance to now, I'm guessing, off the top of my head. Okay, everyone's on board now. So they had the full setup keys, drum, keyboard, bass. I think the eldest sister is the singer. Eldest? Pretty sure. It has her voice. It's 
a grit to it. You rock an original. Hell yeah. This is amazing life. It's a terrible analogy. I want to say that they're the Hanson of rock and roll. <laughs> we all remember Hanson back in the day being the pop geniuses they were. But anyway, this is. Oh! This is a whole other level. That's why I didn't want to say it. I've said it now. Let's get some more solo action. Jeez. That's a little bit of the polyrhythmic stuff going. Innovative solo. I wonder if she ever comes out from behind the kit. Like plays another instrument or gets to sing a track or something. She's not mic'd up, is she? She doesn't do backing vocals. I'm on my way to the world of a magic place. Yes, yes, here we stay. God, an old soul in her voice, definitely. See the world upon my shoulders, yeah. Will you take my hand, take my hand, and fly, and fly, and fly away with me, yes, yeah. Sweet. Nice balance there of the uh, silent leading up there. Good stuff. Jeez, look at the poor little fella at bass. I know you can play it properly. Steve has a full adult size bass, does he? Young and they still got tons of energy. They're going to be going for years. Even through it and all right. 
kick ass. I'm sure that keyboard is keyboard is eyeballing me off right now in the background. Just going, you ever compare me to Hanson again, bro? I am going to, yeah, do nasty stuff. Um, <laughs> ah, sweet Lily Ack. There you go. Their original track, Mars. Um, yeah, it's only been six odd. <clears throat> Six odd months since my last check out. Five, five months if you really want to get into math details, but thank you. <laughs> uh, once again, uh, pardon me, we had yeah, Mystic Virgo, of course, in the past, and of course, Bert Paintner giving me a reminder nudge there. So there you go. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy their tracks uh, in your discovery if you've already heard them. Um, that was the first time me hearing them live as well. Uh, I think the last one was a video, a film clip, a video clip to their track. And yeah. I guess, guess what? There's going to be more Liliac coming. <laughs> um, they had a huge selection of great covers that um, uh, Mystic Virgo sent through, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to go back through and I'll check them all out, most definitely. We'll get onto this Liliac train again, resurgence. It's good to see that some young blood are actually, yeah, once again, like the the younger lads from uh, New Zealand and uh, geez, just everyone around the world who've got the, the, the young aspect but pushing forward and still bringing some old school factor into it. And that was a pretty pretty rocking track. I'm hoping that they wrote that themselves and it wasn't written for them, which I'm pretty... Uh, well, I have no idea. <laughs> if you've heard them at gunpoint to the head and said, like, hey, did you write the track? Yes, sir. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I think their voices would be a little bit lower than that too. Alrighty, peace out. Use rock. I'll catch up with you for the next video. Laters.